Hey everyone, it's me Alex and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Apple MacBook Pro to your Samsung Smart Monitor. So for the things that you'll need to do this is your, your MacBook Pro, your Samsung Smart Monitor, and your Smart Monitor Remote. So, in this video I'm using the Samsung M7, but, but Apple AirPlay should be available on the M5, M7, and M8 Smart Monitor. The only difference is that the M8. The only difference is that that the M8 has a webcam. So if you don't want, if you have you use your MacBook and you want to use the bigger screen, but you also want to talk through like someone on Zoom, you can use the webcam up there. So for what you first want to do is open up your MacBook. So let me get your view to my computer. So once you open your smart monitor, you want to locate screen mirroring. If it's not up here on your control center, you have to click on the control center and screen mirroring. If that's not there, then you need to go to settings displays, and then you have to click on plus and your monitor should go up here. So for now, now it's time to turn it on if it's not already on. So just click on the power button. You'll see it turn on in the back. You can see, you can see the screen and then you click on plus. And then it should load up as Samsung M7. But I'm gonna already have it in control center. So I'm gonna go up here to control center or this little right here. And then as you can see, it says Samsung M7. It's going to start loading. It's going to ask you for a first time pin. This is only going to ask you once if it's your first time. As you can see, my pin is, and then they'll say the, the devices that is connecting. So you'll 7283. That's a one time pin. So I'm going to go on my keyboard here and put 7283. And then as you can see, it accepted that pin. And then there you go. Now you see my Mac on the monitor. But as you can see right now, I'm seeing the same thing on the monitor and on my computer screen. Let me just make this full screen where to go. You might be thinking, yeah, but I want to be like, I want to have as a, maybe as an external display. You can be working on here, answering emails, and you can be doing something over here. Well, you can do that. So what you want to do is you can see it's right here. And then you want to, I'm going to exit out full screen. You want to go back to system settings, settings if you don't have it up there. Displays. And then you want to click on use as, and you want to click stop mirroring. And then as you can see, now we have it as a second display. So right now I'm going to do mirroring again to show you. If you already have it up here on control center, you want to click on control center. You want to click on screen mirroring, and you could use use as separate display. And then as you can see, now I'm viewing something down here. I'm going to go, so to move it over, you I'm just going to open up a new tab right here. And then I'm going to click on Google. If you want to say, I want to watch YouTube down here and I want to be doing that emails over here, you hold it and you drag it over to the screen. As you can see, you'll see it up there and just let it go. And as you can see, it opens up the tab right here. So as you can see, you'll see it up here now. It's right here while I'm doing something down here. So for an example, because this one, this monitor also has a built in, has built in speakers, you, your audio is now being passed to the display. You want to click, if it's not being passed to the display, let's zoom in. You want to click on the speaker icon and you want to click on Samsung M7 or M5 or M8, just depending which one you have. Or if you want to use it on your MacBook speakers, just click MacBook Pro speakers. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. And it's playing on the MacBook Pro speakers, and you don't need to control the volume on your Samsung remote because it's playing on the built-in or their MacBook speakers. But you can see it's still playing over there. You still you still see the screen. Or let's say no, I actually do want to hear it on the monitor. Click on the monitor, and then you want to. I want to just go ahead and drag this over so you can see it up there. So I'm going to drag it over. As you can see now, it's playing on the monitor, but right now I'm not hearing anything. So that's because you need to use the volume on the remote. So I'm going to go up. Do this with a wireless mic, uh, sorry, a wired microphone. So, as you can see, now it's playing on the monitor. Turn it off on iPhone. If you select, you have to select microphone, even if you. So as you can see, now it's playing on the monitor. And that's pretty much it. You just move it around and you can have two screens or mirror the same display if you'd like. So as you can see, that's pretty much it. That's how to you connect your MacBook to the Samsung uh, to a Samsung smart monitor. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. And make sure to follow me on social media and check out my website. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Sorry, I know I did say this video was over. My PC, the PC that we have connected turned on. But if the monitor does not show up as an option for you, you want to make sure you have enabled Apple AirPlay and are connected to your Wi-Fi network on the monitor. To check, go to the home, get your remote and push on home. You want to navigate to settings all the way to the left. And then you want to make sure you want to go down to general. You want to click on network and make sure 
that your network is connected. As you can see right now, we're connected. If, if it's not, if it is connected, but it still doesn't show up, you want to go down to Apple AirPlay settings. You want to make sure it says AirPlay on. If it is not on, then that's why it does not show up. So hopefully these troubleshooting tips will help you get your Apple AirPlay started. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time in my next video. Bye.